Hello and welcome to this session on the Orlo Naming Convention and Other List Admin. Today we're going to go through the Naming Convention, Digitization Code, Adding Student Numbers, Assigning a List, and then I will demonstrate how to create a new reading list from scratch with all this information. The Naming Convention is the only way we can identify lists. It is the only way that students can find the correct list to work on and academics can find the right list to share with their students. The Department and Faculty Naming Convention is as follows. There is a departmental code, a degree or qualification and the title of a course. And all these elements are separated by underscores. Any further information can be added at the end of the list. In practice, this will look something like the example on screen. OII underscore MSC SDS underscore Foundations of Social Data Science underscore MT. College and tutorial lists have a slightly different naming convention. There is the college code, the tutor surname and the title of the course. Again, these are separated by underscores. So for this tutor list from Christchurch College, we would have a code CHC underscore Carol underscore an investigation of Wonderland underscore MT. And that is the name of a tutor list. The digitization code is used in Orlo for requesting digitizations, also known as scans. It's required that every list has a unique digitization code, both so that we can create scans correctly and so that we can report them to the CLA who operate our license for scanning. Digitization codes are added to the description of a reading list. This is available near the top of a reading list. If your list doesn't have a dis digitization code, contact your Bodleian library or email cla at bodleian.ox.ac.uk. Student numbers can be very useful when purchasing items for reading lists. They're also required when we are requesting digitizations, so it is very good to add them to a list if you know them. They can be added by editing the list using the edit button at the very top. This will be demonstrated momentarily. Sometimes more than one person will work on an Orlo reading list. Often libraries and administrators will create reading lists for course conveners, or sometimes different academics will work on a list together. As part of this process, one person may wish to assign the reading list to another person. This can be done by using the edit menu at the top of an Orlo reading list and just clicking on assign list owner. Further guides and videos are available on our LibGuide at the link here. Also by clicking Guides for Staff at the top of any Orlo reading list. I will now go to Orlo and create a reading list from scratch. When I get to Orlo, I need to log in with my single sign-on. Once I've logged in, I go to My Lists, and on the top right hand, I can click Create New Lists to create new lists. Here, I will add the list name following the naming convention. If this was a practice list, I would call it Test underscore and my name. However, if it is a list for a department, for example, the Department of International Relations and Politics, I would give it their code, followed by a degree, the MPhil in International Relations, followed by the name of the course. For this example, I'm using the making of modern international society. In my description field, I'll add the digitization code. that I've gotten from the library and I will select the year. I'm currently working on the academic year 2019-20, so I will select that. I then click create list. This list is in draft, draft form, as I can see from the banner here saying unpublished changes. Students will not be able to find this list. 
To add student numbers, I click Edit, go down to where it says Hierarchy and Student Numbers, and manually add the student numbers, and click Save. Finally, I'm going to assign the list, and I'm going to assign it to my colleague, Angela. Again, I go up to Edit, I go down to Assign List Owner, and I start typing the name of the list owner. Angela's name has appeared, so I click on it and click Save. Only people with list publisher permissions will appear when you start typing in that box. If you are trying to assign a list to someone and their name does not appear, contact Bodleian Libraries to arrange for them to get permissions. Only one person can be named as the list owner, but as I mentioned, more than one person can work on a list. Further information on how to add content to lists, how to make digitization requests, and how to publish lists is available on our LibGuide, and all our guidance is available here under this button, Guides for Staff. Thank you.